Introduction See the beautiful clothes in this wardrobe. Oh, so many varieties of clothes made of different kinds of fabric. These fabrics have different look and feel. But friends, these clothes are not easy to make. It involves a long process to make fabric from fiber. Let us discuss about it. History of Fabric Have you ever wondered what materials people used in ancient times for clothing? They used the barks, leaves of trees, animal skins and fur to cover themselves. Slowly with growing civilization they learned to weave twigs and grass into mats and baskets. Stitched fabrics came much later with the invention of needles. Fiber. Have you ever had a closer look to a fabric? If yes, you must have seen many yarns in it. These thin yarns are made up of still thinner strands called fabrics. To understand this, take a piece of fabric. Take out a yarn from it. Now press one end of yarn with your thumb. Scrub the other end of the yarn along its length with the needle. You can see that the yarn splits into thin strands. These thin strands are fibers. Fibers can be both natural or artificial. You feel so comfortable when you wear cotton cloths in summer. Cotton is a natural fiber. Natural fibers like cotton, jute, flax, fibers, coir, hemp, etc. are obtained from plants. Silk fiber is drawn from cocoon silk worm. Wool is obtained from the hair of animals like sheep, goat, rabbit, york and camel. Artificial fibers. You might have heard that we should not wear the synthetic clothes while working near fire. What are the synthetic clothes made of? Well, these clothes have yarns of man-made artificial fibers. These fibers catch fire very easily. Some examples of synthetic fibers are rayon, polyester, nylon, terylene. Some plant fibers. Have you ever made wicks of earthen lamps during Diwali festival or other occasion? Do you know that they are made up of cotton? This cotton is obtained from cotton plants which are grown at places having black soil and warm climate. The fruits of cotton plant, after maturing, burst open and seed-covered cotton are obtained. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant. It is cultivated during the rainy seasons. The stems of harvested plants are immersed in water for a few days. Then the stem rot and fibers are separated by hand. Wax fibers are also obtained from the stems of the plant and are used mainly to make linen. Making of fabric from fiber. How is fabric made from fiber? First yarn is made from fiber and then fabric from yarn. Making of yarn, ginning and spinning of cotton. Students, to make fiber, cotton is picked by hand from cotton balls and then fiber from the seeds is separated by combing. This is called ginning. Ginning can be done by machines too. Do you know how a yarn of cotton is made? Take some cotton wool. Fix one end with a clip. Then fix the other end with another clip. Hold the two clips in two hands and pull out the cotton. Twist the cotton continuously till it finally turns into a yarn. This simple device used for spinning is a hand spindle called Tuckley. Do you know about Charkha? It was very popular during independence movement. Making of fabric from yarn. Children, now let us know how fabric is made from yarn. Fabric is made by weaving and knitting the yarns. Let us know how they are made. 
See these mats or these bags. These are made by weaving the yarns. Weaving of fabric is done on looms. Looms are of two types. Hand operated looms and power operated looms. Let us learn weaving. You also can make the mat with few thin ropes. Take few ropes of yellow and blue color. Weave the yellow and blue strips one by one as shown. Similarly, two sets of yarn are woven to make a fabric. Knitting Children, you may have the beautiful sweaters. Do you know how they are made? The sweaters are made by knitting. A single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. Socks and many other clothing items are the knitted fabrics. Knitting is done by hands and also on machines.